In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Fortnite Chapter 3 in Windows. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on Download Epic Games Launcher and you then need to go Save File and once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. So if you're unsure what the Epic Games Launcher is, it's basically the program that we need to use to be able to download and then launch Fortnite. And you can also purchase lots of other different games through the Epic Games Launcher. So once you run the setup file, you will end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to choose where you'd like to install the Epic Games Launcher. And once you're happy, you can then go ahead and click Install. So once the Epic Games Launcher has finished installing, it will automatically open and you now need to either create an Epic Games account if you do not have one by clicking on sign up or if you do have an account then you can go ahead and click on sign in with Epic Games. You now need to type in your email address and your password and then click on login. So once you have signed into the Epic Games launcher you now need to select store from the left hand menu and you now need to click on search. We now need to type in Fortnite and you then need to select Fortnite. You will now have a window that looks like this. On the right hand side you should have a button that says get or something similar. For my case it says in library and that's because I have previously installed Fortnite to my computer. You now need to click on the button and it will then take you to your library. For my case I need to find Fortnite in my library list but you should have a window pop up with the options to install Fortnite. I'm just going to find Fortnite now in my list. So as you can see, I have Fortnite here. And below Fortnite, it says install. So if I select install, it then pops up with a window that allows me to choose where I would like to install Fortnite. So if you do want to change the location of the install, you can click on browse. So once you're happy, and if you want to keep the game automatically updated, keep this option here selected, we can go ahead and click on install. And once Fortnite has finished installing, you will then be able to launch the game from the Epic Games Launcher. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.